Hello, welcome to this video of Diablo 3. I do play this game a lot. Um, I figured I'd share some of my gaming experiences with you guys. Like, for instance, I just recently found uh, these box folds, which adds damage to your character. It, it could be better, but it, then again, you know, whatever. They're called pox folds. If you look at the description right there, when three or more enemies are within 12 yards, you release a vile stench that deals 307 weapon damage as poison every second for 10 seconds to enemies within 15 yards. In other words, these pants are pretty much Mr. McFarty pants. They're Mr. McFarty pants. And you gotta have Mr. McFarty pants, so we can do more damage to enemies. But hey, let's get this started real quick. There you go, finally. Wow! The coin work. I don't want to hear what you say. I've heard you say it 5,000 times. 5,000 times. By the way, I'm on Torment 2. Just in case you're wondering if you can't see that up there. And right now, I might die. And maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Gilgamesh, the Revenant. Ah! Die, Gilgamesh! What the hell? Oh, wow! Okay. I picked that up pretty damn quick. I didn't even get a chance to go bing! Give a little pillar of light to showing up for the legendary. I didn't get a chance. I picked it up with a quickness. Let's see what it is! Wow! I would have been farming for two minutes. Azeroth! What a piece of shit. That's one problem with this game is that uh, more often than not, you're finding shitty legendaries that just that don't. Maybe an Azeroth might be pretty effective if you're using a cold source, but I have no idea. A source. Wizard, if you will. Wizard, source, whatever you want to call it. I'm still using Lingo from Diablo 2 for some reason. I cannot get over that. Alrighty then. These guys suck. File chains. The fire chains hurt a lot. Shrieking terror. <laughs> You're going to be shrieking in terror in a second. After I pulverize your dead body. Which is kind of weird that you're shrieking in terror after you're dead. Because you're dead. Okay, I'm, I'm going to stop right there. I digress. It's not funny. It's a shitty joke. Tard rage. Tard rage! Death's breath. That is funny how I find a legendary that quick. It's only been like two minutes and then the legendary drops. Oh, by the way, I do have a pair of ice climbers. Uh, I recommend that when you find those, use them, especially if you're a melee class, because they prevent you from being frozen. And being frozen can kill you, pretty much, in this game, especially in higher torment levels. I got lucky with these ice climbers. I've only found two pairs the entire time I've been playing, ever since Reaver, Reaper of Souls came out, so, yeah. Pray that you get one of those, because those are badass, dude. Look at that, and they... I can't be slowed down by these anymore either. I cannot be slowed down by my traps. Those stupid ghost things that come by and shoot you with that little stream of whatever the hell it is. It usually slows you down when they hit you with that. That doesn't work anymore. It doesn't slow you down anymore. No uh, those stupid fat people that run around with those things on their backs. I don't know what the hell they're called. I think they're called seraphs or something like that. Those things don't slow you down with their little ice pass. Holy shit, there's a lot of enemies on the screen right now. Okay, I'm, I'm going target rage. Target rage right now. Target rage. So many monsters. I'm stuck. I should give you a piece of gear that allows you to phase through that stuff. Allows you to phase through walls. Well, only wall, you know, those kind of walls, not any wall. Because that'd be cool too if you can face for any wall you want to. <laughs> Sit there and walk into the, you know, the abyss of the game. It'd be funny, but that's stupid. Shut up. I'm, I'm gonna shut up now. Current build that I'm using right now is pretty effective, considering the fact that I'm using charge. Charge, you know, helps me maintain my fury. And not to mention the fact that I have got these on, the strong arm bracers, and it's a little proc right there. As you can see, enemies hit by knockbacks suffer 22% more damage for 5 seconds when they land. Which is very good when you're using charge, and charge automatically, you know, helps me maintain my fury. So that's actually a pretty good little tidy build, right there. If you want to use that, if you're list. Ah, die! You not going? Oh, I hate these guys. These are like the most annoying enemies ever. Where is he? There he is. Oh, you bastard! No! Go, 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 go. No! Ah, shit! I 
hate treasure goblins. And I tarred rage for nothing. A lot of people think that barbarians may be a little stacked because all you gotta do is spin to win. Uh, you need the gear to be able to do that. Okay, you can't just go and spin to win with subpar gear and expect to live, especially in something like this. You will die. I'm close to mine. 88%. Right on, right on. Let's do this. Tart Rage. Ooh, what is that? A shield pylon? Oh, man, those things suck. Conduit and power pylons are the best. You know, but the shield pylons? Eh. I like doing that, by the way. Go into a rift, find a power pylon or a, sh or a conduit pylon. Okay, in this case, it might be kind of helpful because it's gone, but then again, I can kill him easily. Not a big deal. Let's go pick, Let's go pick it up. Just for shits and giggles. <laughs> Now, this is kind of an example of what happens when you let yourself go. It's really realistic, too, because you start to get a mouth, you gain a mouth right there in your gut, you know. For some strange reason, that giant mouth sprouts in your own room and die, I do <laughs> I also like the fact that uh, there's no auction house in this game anymore. That made it to where farming is a lot more rewarding. In the case of you know the actual player, because that auction house thing ruined the entire point of the game. And Blizzard finally figured that out. So, yeah, how's my how's my Templar faring with this? Half health, not bad. Alrighty then, come on, come. Oh yeah, almost did. Come on now, come on now. Yes, legendary. Oh, I've forgotten stole, that's always good. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can't roll roll my reroll my farty pants. Get some vitality on it. Okay, I wanna take this time. You see how much gold I have, right? Yes, I did spend a little bit of money on the game before they took the auction house out. I'm actually really grateful I did that because if I hadn't, I'd have been kinda of screwed right now. Because I wouldn't have these gems right now. None of these gems would be in here. I wouldn't have any of this. At all, I wouldn't have been able to roll half this gear if I didn't have that amount of gold. So, if you freaking actually took the, you know, bought money, as much as it's made fun of, as much as it's scorned or frowned upon to actually spend money on this game, dude, I'm actually glad I did because if I didn't, I'd have been screwed. I wouldn't be anywhere near the status that I am now with if I didn't spend money on the game. And I've still got plenty of gold left. I've already spent like 130, 140 million gold on this game. And that's just on this guy. Just the gear that he's using. 140 million gold. Just the amount of rerolls I did on my gear. Crunching all these gems. It's expensive as hell. So I'm actually glad I actually spent the money before the auction house was taken down. Uh, and if... Pat yourself on the back if you actually bought gold too. Pat yourself on the back because you did a good job. You made a good choice. Even though it's frowned upon and you might be considered a nerd or a loser. I don't care, dude. I'm glad I did. So... Anyway, moving on. Yeah. 35,000. Roll. Come on, Vitality. Yes! Vitality. Record resist all. Ooh. Right on. There we go. That's all I wanted. Vitality. I got lucky on that one because I already rolled it a couple times and I didn't get it there. This would be really cool, by the way. Just real quick before I end this video. These boots right here would be awesome because there's a, there's a set out there that allows you to lay an earthquake down when you leap. This thing allows you to leap three times in a row before the cooldown starts. Pretty badass boots. If you find those, I'd keep them just in case because there's all kinds of builds out there that Blizzard introduced to this game that you can sit there and play around with and stack on each other to make your guy very experimental. Very experimental and very effective when it clearing out mobs quicker. That's why I took these fart pants right here I'm going to incorporate those into my build for now, unless I find something better. And, yeah. That's going to be awesome. There's all kinds of ways you can experiment with your character now. With the, not to mention, there's also another set that it decreases the amount of set items needed to get bonuses. I think up to two. So, yeah, that's also very important, too. Those You stack those with another gear set or whatever, and, and then, yeah. <laughs> you would be pretty badass. Pretty badass character. A lot of builds out there. You just look for them. 
Um, thank you very much for watching this video. You guys all have a good day. All right, later.